Good morning, everyone. Well, my goodness me, is it a grey, rainy, miserable day today? It feels like such a stereotypical autumn day, like a real October vibe kind of a day. And I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not hating it. I'm kind of loving it because it's getting me in like a really cozy mood. It's making me just like want to stay at home, hunker down, just do a little bit of like sorting and organizing and i'm just so in love with that we actually ended up having a bit of a storm last night i think we were quite lucky down south i think it kind of bypassed us and it mainly hit like the north of england which meant that we kind of got like the best part of a storm we just got that like blustery breezy weather and if you watched to the end of my last vlog you would have seen that last night we watched the holiday <gasps> honestly i know it's still a little bit early to speak about Christmas, but I feel like as soon as we hit October, it's kind of acceptable to start getting excited about it. And Alex actually texted me as he was on his way home from work being like, I don't know why, but I'm just really in the mood to watch the holiday tonight. And I was like, hmm, how soon is too soon to watch a Christmas film? But out of all the Christmas films, I would argue that the holiday is one of the least Christmassy because half of it takes place in LA. It's sunny, it's sunshine, it's beautiful, it's warm. So I feel like it's quite an acceptable early Christmas film to watch. So we hunkered down last night and started watching the holiday. I feel like now, now I'm officially allowed to talk about Christmas. I'm officially allowed to get excited and allowed to start like planning things because it's literally two months away. I mean, less than if you start celebrating early and in this job, I do need to get a little bit ahead and a little bit kind of like prepared for Christmas in advance because everything kind of starts kicking off from like mid to November time, which is one thing I love about my job. I love how excited I can get for Christmas. Alex always says that to me. Because of my job, we tend to like put the Christmas tree up a little bit early. And he says to me, he's I love that you can do that. I love that we can use that as an excuse to like put the tree up because we tend to put it up like mid to end of November. And whenever we have people come around the house, whether it's like workmen or like our um, cleaner or like gardeners or things like that, they'll always be like, oh my gosh, you've already got your tree up. And I'm like, yeah, it's because of my job. And like when I explain that, I'm like, oh, okay, fair enough. And I'm sitting there like, nobody tell them though because we are Christmas mad in this household we love Christmas it's my favorite time of year I love how cozy it is I love how like high everyone's vibes are I feel like everyone's in like the Christmas spirit you've got the twinkly lights you've got the shopping you've got the lovely weather like oh I just absolutely love it and speaking of Christmas another thing has got me in the Christmas spirit I feel like now that we're in October I can officially start talking about it and it always feels weird when they start coming out the Christmas advent calendars. Usually when they start releasing, I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for this. But I feel like Pandora have released this at the perfect time where I'm just starting to get excited for Christmas. And this has really, really kick-started kick my excitement. Honestly, you can tell I'm so excited. I'm tripping over my words. But this is something really, really exciting because this is Pandora's first ever advent calendar that they are doing it is an exclusive this year and it will be released on the 12th of october so you've got a little bit of time to prepare i believe you can only get this from the oxford street store i believe they're doing it as like an in-store exclusive let me just double check my they sent me like a little letter um let me read this out to you because i feel like i'm always really bad at relaying information but dear ellie we're excited to share with you our very first 12 days of pandora advent calendar an exclusive. There are 12 boxes to be opened, each containing a gorgeous gift. The calendar is worth £550, but retails for £350. So it's a £200 saving you're getting on these products, which is amazing. It says, we hope you love our limited edition calendar and are getting really excited for the festive season. The advent calendar will be available for customers to purchase on the 12th of October, but I have seen online someone said that it's from the Oxford Street Store. So I will fact check that and leave the information down below in the description box for you because you are going to want to get your hands on it. First of all, it is like the prettiest advent calendar I think I've ever seen. It literally says here, the 12 days of Pandora. And of course it's got the gorgeous packaging. So I thought that we could get into this because I know I'm gonna give a spoiler. So if you don't actually wanna see what's in it and you want to purchase it for yourself, then um, skip maybe like the next couple of minutes because I always get excited about advent calendars and I love opening and seeing what's inside. Um, I feel like they make great gifts as well. If you know someone who's got maybe like an October or November birthday, I feel like this would just make such a good gift. Oh my goodness, how pretty. Is that oh, I'm definitely going to keep this. I just got the gorgeous little plastic packaging. I am definitely 
going to keep this as some, like some jewellery styling. That is stunning. It's like proper plastic. It doesn't feel like one of those like cheapy advent calendars where they just kind of feel like they've thrown things together. Like this feels so considered. And look at the beautiful stars. Oh my gosh. I love that it feels Christmassy, but not too Christmassy, if you know what I mean. Oh my God, look inside. <gasps> do you know what you could do actually with this? You could definitely reuse this. I know quite a lot of people that do this, particularly as parents. They will create their own advent calendar for their kids. So they'll put in maybe like a chocolate on one day, maybe like a new little bracelet, a charm some earrings like gum some stickers i feel like that would be really really cute if you did want to do that for maybe your children you could always do like two if you want to do like the full 24 days you could do like two things in each box and then like open one and then the next the next day um but i'm obsessed with the color palette of that look at the like gorgeous kind of pinky champagne -y tones okay we're gonna open door number one together because I am so, so excited about this. I just feel like this is such an exciting thing that Pandora are doing and it really is getting me in the Christmas spirit. So door number one. Oh, I love that they come in like the dust bags as well. That's so pretty. That's not the usual dust bag that they do, but I love that. It feels very like special, like a little bit of a Christmas exclusive. Oh my word. It's a little bracelet. I was not expecting like a full bracelet. I just kind of thought it was going to be like maybe little charms and stuff. Oh my goodness me. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my word. This is actually one of the very, very few bracelets I do not have from Pandora. But it's the gorgeous snake chain, which I really, really like. And what's very clever is this is one that's completely adjustable. So it's not one you need to worry about like sizes or anything like that. I have had that in the past where I've tried to gift someone some like jewellery or something. And I've not got the right ring size or like bracelet size. So I love the fact that you don't need to worry about that. And of course, charms can go on this as well, which I really, really love so you can completely personalize it because I'm going to assume there's a few little Christmassy charms in there. I've already got on this one, which is like one of my favorite Pandora bracelets, my little wishbone bangle. I always get so many compliments on this. Um, so I love wishbone, snake chain, snake chain bangle. So I love the fact that I've got like a little snake chain bracelet to match. Okay, what door should we do next? Do I just unbox them all with you? Honestly, okay, I'm gonna do door number two because two is my lucky number. I really, really love the fact that you can reuse this. I think it's just so, so cute. Do you know what I also love? Okay, and this is so my childhood, but if you look, each um, hole actually gets empty afterwards. I would have literally used this as like a little like dollhouse, like a way to like display my Sylvanians so, or like my Polly pockets. That was the kind of kid that I was. I was always making houses out of like shoe boxes and like packaging oh, it was so funny my mom loved it in a way because it was like it was great you got to like recycle and reuse things but at the same time hated it because it meant that her living room was just completely full of like shoe boxes that i'd made into little doll houses oh this is so pretty i knew it would have a christmas theme so this is in door number two it is a beautiful blue oh my god look at it it's a little snowflake charm oh my gosh sorry i'm like talking really slowly because i'm just mesmerized buy it that is so so stunning i love the like murano glass and as i said it can go onto this bracelet as well hello focus find my face again um it can obviously go onto the bracelet um but i love that i feel like i've always said that pandora charms are like the perfect stocking filler so i really love the fact that they put them in their own little advent calendar okay what do i do next well, honestly i'm just so excited about this should i just go in order or should i do a random day let's do day 10 I feel like day 10 is a good day to do. Honestly, I'm so obsessed with the packaging. Oh, this feels like it's something big as well. I'm so impressed at like what they've put in here. This stuff is like really, really big. What is this? No. Stop. This is a voucher for a jewelry box. I can't believe that. Their jewelry boxes are huge. I actually have one in the other room. This voucher entitles you to a jewellery box. I'm not going to turn it around because then you'll be able to see the code and I won't be able to claim my own jewellery box. But present in store or to redeem online, use the code at checkout. That's amazing. Obviously, they can't fit a whole jewellery box in the advent calendar. So they've literally given you a little voucher to get your own. That is so special. And you can either get pink or grey I already have pink so I might pick up the grey one and they are the best jewellery boxes when it comes to like travelling when it comes to like loading up your jewellery because it all stays really really nicely there's a plenty of room for like your rings your let me go and get mine I'm going to show you it I mean this is not a normal gift that you get in an advent calendar normally it's like freebies and testers and things like that to get a whole 
jewelry box i am absolutely in awe and opening it the wrong way um but this is what it looks like so it's got space for like your um necklaces which i really like and what i do is i put the necklace on here and then you tuck it in and it means that they don't get tangled up which is an absolute game changer i also love that it comes with a huge mirror which is really really oh wow that was unflattering <laughs> that way shall we um this is so handy to take on holiday because the amount of times you're in a hotel there's bad lighting or you don't have a mirror like handy you have to use the bathroom so i really really love that it comes with like a gigantic mirror and because of this it keeps the jewelry really nice and like tight it doesn't like all move about and things like that um so this is like the top section you've got like the different sections for um bracelets or necklaces or anything like that this section fits bangles in perfectly like it's all designed to fit pandora jewelry and obviously i've got so much jewelry from them that this is perfect and then rings or um earrings can go in there and then what is even better that i love is it actually has another layer so if you have more things that you want to put in there i don't know like big watches or like big pearl necklaces there's so much space so that is so so exciting so as i said i've already got the pink so i might have to get my hands on the gray one because i feel like the gray one is just beautiful and that that could literally be someone's like full christmas present in itself that is a big gift especially to get it in the afternoon calendar i can't believe that they've given that given that away in the calendar okay i'm gonna do the last one which is 12 which i can't find there is top top left corner um okay let's see what's in at door number 12 because i feel like door number 12 is usually quite a special one because it's the last one of the calendar either 12 or 24 whichever you're going for um this would honestly be such an amazing gift for someone if they have a birthday around like october november time if you wanted to give it to them that is so cute oh my god although i'm kind of regretting that it's door number 12 because i feel like that's almost too late to wear this i want to be wearing this throughout the entirety of christmas but it is a tiny little stocking charm oh my god would you just look at that is that not just the cutest thing you have ever ever laid your eyes on it's got like a little mouse coming out with like a little candy cane oh my gosh i'm in love you could definitely wear that as a necklace or put it on your bracelet um if you wanted to so i love the fact that they've given you a bracelet so you can literally just put all of your charms oh um, you can put all of your charms on the bracelet and just kind of like stack up from the calendar. You can stack it with jewelry that you've already got in your collection, but that is so, so lovely. I cannot wait to open the rest of the doors. I'm not going to open the rest with you because I want the rest to be a surprise if you do want to get your hands on this, but I will leave info down below on how you can pick this up, whether it's in store or online, because this is such an amazing gift and they have a really really limited supply of them so i wanted to unbox it now before the release date so that you've got time to like plan how you're going to get your hands on this because this is so special would make such an amazing gift and i honestly am just in awe of how generous they are in this calendar how many amazing pieces there are in here considering the price like it's a 200 pound saving that is absolutely amazing so i will leave all of that linked down below and i'm fully fully in the christmas spirit now i feel like i want to put my tree up I want to start watching full Christmas films. I want to start playing Christmas songs. Okay, calm down, Ellie. It's not quite Christmas yet. <laughs> so I've just come downstairs to make myself my morning coffee of the day. It's currently quarter to nine. And I know that doesn't seem very late. I've been trying to like have my coffees a little bit later. But when you've been up since half five, that is a long time to wait for your coffee. And I'm going to need all the energy I can get today. Because today I have been really excited to finally do the autumn wardrobe switch over and i have been waiting for these to arrive i actually ordered some new hangers recently because i've just gotten to a point where i'm like i just need more storage i need more hanger space i have so much hanging space in my wardrobes um and that's where i kind of like have like the majority of my clothes i'm someone who like hangs knitwear which i know you never should do but i just physically don't have the drawer space um so i ordered some more hangers and i've been waiting for them to arrive and i figured because today was so great and miserable it was the perfect day to do this i don't like doing this when it's like a nice sunny day especially because if it's nice and sunny i'm like oh i don't know if i'm ready to like say goodbye to like my pretty summery dresses um, and i'm definitely going to keep out a few dresses but i think more like seasonally toned dresses like for example this one oh my gosh i 
love this dress this is actually a river island one that's maybe about three years old and every single autumn winter i bring this dress back out and i'm so excited to wear it because it is just so comfy it's so easy to style i think it used to have a belt but i ended up taking yeah i can feel belt loops i ended up taking it off because i feel like when they have this like elastication they don't need a belt and sometimes the belt kind of like hangs low it goes loose and like I just find it a little bit weird. I much prefer it when it just has this really lovely like silhouette. I love the fact that it's like long sleeves and the fact that it's khaki means it's so great for this time of year when it's not actually quite cold enough to be wearing your knits, but it is still like chilly enough that you want long sleeves, you want something a little bit cozier and cardigans go so, so well with this as well. Um, so I'm really happy that the hangers have arrived. Um, I definitely don't need all of these. So I'm gonna pass them on to Alex, but these are the ones that I get, they're just, black velvet hangers from amazon i'll leave them linked down below i always like it when they match and um, recently some of the clothes i've been hanging have not been matching the hangers i've been having to steal some hangers off alex and he just uses like shop hangers like you know the ones that you get when they like send you away with your clothes um or like ones that arrive in the post and stuff um whereas i much prefer it when they look a little bit more aesthetic so i can definitely pass a few of these on to him because i do feel like these velvet ones are the best i do have wooden hangers um for like all of my hauls and stuff which i do utilize for new in pieces clothes i utilize for coats because these are just not thick enough for coats um but i do feel like for dresses for shirts for jumpers for tops these are the best because number one they're nice and thin so i don't find that you get those horrible like hanger marks you know when you get that like pinch um and number two because they're velvet they don't fall off which is a godsend because the amount of times i've had dresses fall off of wooden or plastic hangers and it just drives me nuts so now that these have arrived the autumn wardrobe switchover can officially commence. So I'm gonna make myself my coffee, get myself caffeinated, because we're gonna need all the energy for this because this is a big task. It's a really big task. I feel like it's a very momentous, momentous moment in every girl's autumn calendar. So I'm really excited to do it. Right, caffeine has been had, coffee has been drunk. I'm feeling ready to tackle the wardrobes. I'm gonna start with my bag storage, which is in this one here, because I've not actually added my new bag into um, my storage yet. I literally have just been keeping her in the bag. I've not even like properly taken her out since coming back from Lisbon, because I just haven't had a chance. Um, so if you didn't watch my Lisbon vlog, can I pull this out one-handed? Hang on. Okay, I'm just gonna put you there so that I can show you my new baby, just in case you haven't watched my Lisbon vlog. Um, but she was a rather impulsive little purchase that i made i was with alex's mum, and we were literally hyping each other up alison has always wanted one of the longchamp la pliage bags so i was hyping her up to buy that i then spotted this out of the corner of my eye and she actually also ended up buying like the bigger version of this so we now have little matchy matchy mother-in-law daughter-in-law bag which i just think is the cutest thing in the world um but she's such a beautiful autumn handbag and i'm not had a chance to take her out because obviously straight from lisbon i went to italy um and i was not going to take her to meet with italy because i just felt like she wasn't really the right vibe but now that i'm back in the uk she is just the perfect autumnal vibe i'm so so in love so she is the roseo essential hobo bag um and i got her in the gorgeous like gray suede it's a really funny color because i feel like in some lights it looks very brown and then in other lights it looks really gray but i went for the smaller size of course because you know me you know i love my small bags they did do one size bigger than this which is what allison actually ended up buying and i feel like if you like to fit a little bit more the size up is gorgeous as well but for me i just felt like the smallest at mini size just suited me so much better but my favorite part about her is the clasp like how gorgeous is that love the fact that it's silver because you know i'm a silver girly also i've just actually thought i assume that all of the pandora um jewelry boxes all of the advent calendars have a silver bracelet that works very well in my favor because i'm a silver girly through and through um but yeah love the clasp on her and i just love the like suede i do need to spray her with suede protector actually i've not done that yet um but she's like a really nice size she fits in like a good amount fitted in my phone my camera um and yeah we just hyped each other up enough to make impulse purchases to get matching bags it was so so funny but i'm really excited to style her up for autumn i feel like she's just gonna be such a cute little autumnal handbag um but i do need to find space for her because i've not actually properly unboxed her yet whilst i've been at home and i need to find room in the storage, my handbags kind of fit in the mirrored um, door and I've still got a lot of like my summery bags, my basket bags that are kind of like at the forefront. So need to give that a little bit of a switch through. That is the first, first, the first task of the wardrobe switchover is to do the bag switchover and just make sure that I've got all of my gorgeous little autumnal handbags at the forefront so that I can reach them. And now that we are officially in the new season, I'm so excited for all the autumnal styling.
they shimmer on our skin. Restoring everything. With oh God, it actually took me quite a while longer than I was expecting but shelves have been reorganized and bags have been sorted out they're looking so much better now I must say I don't feel like I have the best bag storage in the world but then again who does unless I was to do like a full built-in wardrobe in this room um one bag that I have switched over from my shelves and this is a bag I've spoken about quite a lot it's actually one of my favorite bags but a bag that I just do not get the wear out of this my little Saint Laurent um sac du jour and I feel like just because of the colorway it's quite a difficult one to style but I also feel like I'm not gonna lie the bags that I actually keep there I often don't wear because they're in the background of videos I don't like moving it about too much um and I just feel like maybe it needs a little bit of movement and I will reach for it more because this is where I keep my more like everyday handbags um like my little Mulberry Alexa is literally my most reached for handbag um hence why it's one of the few ones that I keep the strap out because I just wear this crossbody all the time um I've also got like my little Mulberry um Bayes water which I reach for a lot um and then I've kind of pushed my straw bags a little bit further towards the back so I have a little bit more space we do actually have space for some new bags which is quite nice because it means that if I do choose to get a little bit spenny we don't need to have a one in one out system um and I'm so glad to get my new little um new little longchamp baby in there which I just absolutely love also my la pliage I always keep folded up because I feel like it's just so much easier to store um so really happy with that um and then the shelves I've made a little bit more autumnal we've got much more autumn tones going on here which I'm kind of loving I've brought out the louise I always have love having both louise um start up on the shelves whenever it comes to autumn um kind of like decor I just feel like they are so autumnal this was actually one that I literally bought when I was like 18 19 it was one of the first designer bags I ever bought myself um and I literally never wear it but I love her for kind of decoration I love her for the interior styling so that is why I keep her I just feel like it's not really my style the like bowling bag I can't remember the name of this one um but yeah not really my style anymore but I do love her for decor I would love to have a Louis Vuitton trunk one day um and I do love I do reach for her quite a lot actually so if she moves a lot in the background that would be why my little Chloe, I do want to get more wear out of it. I was considering selling, but now that I'm kind of going back into wearing shoulder bags, I'm like, mm, I might reach for her again. Also, because they've discontinued her, what if in five years time, she is like a really, really desirable bag. She's really worth a lot. And I sold her when she was kind of like rock bottom in terms of price. So she's staying. I then got my little Lillian Bean um, and my Holland Cooper at the top. So really loving how that's looking. I feel like it's looking very autumnal, really loving the styling. Um, I feel like the dressing room is just really coming together for autumn. Also, you'll be so proud of me. I finally got a bulb for this lamp and turn on. It's a really, really cute little like, oh, I just love it. That little kind of like shell lamp. I think it looks so, so lovely. It's very nice and cozy. Um, and then it means I can put her on in the background of videos. I really love it when I've got this lamp. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> on as well. I just feel like that looks so nice and cozy for when the weather's like today and it's really great and miserable and you just want to have like a little bit of warmth. I feel like it's so nice to have those in the background of videos. So loving how it's looking in here. I now need to move into a room that you don't often see like I know I've definitely shown it to you in the past um but the main reason why you don't often see it is because it usually looks like this and this is actually not the worst that it ever looks but this is where I kind of keep boxes for things that I'm maybe about to haul about to start this is kind of like my PR room a lot of the time because it just means I don't have to keep my office messy things can just kind of get shoved in here um so this is a little hint as to a big big haul that is going to be coming you can see the size of this box I have done a massive phase eight order um so and this room's kind of a bit of a weird mixture in the sense of it used to be Alex's office but so still has his print up on the wall which I know he loves but it really doesn't work with the vibe of the rest of the upstairs so I think I'm going to be replacing that with my decennio prints that are down there so that is going to be happening um I've got like summary bags that I keep here mainly because I've just taken this basket bag off the shelves and my demelier does not fit anywhere else like there is literally nowhere else I can start uh, store it because of the handles because they're not flexible they don't bend down it's such a tall bag so I'm really unsure what to do about the styling of um those bags I must admit I love this poof in here this is my oh, what's the brand called I was gonna say still in bloom but it's definitely not still in bloom something upholstery stringer stringer brothers upholstery they did this poof and i love it it is so so cute we used to keep it downstairs in the living room um but i now keep it up here and it's great because it's great to chuck on like clothes you know like when you've maybe washed it but you're not quite ready to put them away or clothes that you've worn it's basically our dumping store and also it works as a um 
like a step ladder for me whenever I need to reach high shelves. Um, we've then got another one that was Alex's. I might have to move this downstairs. I might see if he can, if he'll notice if I move it down into his office. It's a cactus. Don't ask why, but we all have men in our lives that want weird, silly styling, and that is his. Um, and then this shelving unit is for my boots. Um, I was going to say I could probably get another one of these, but it wouldn't be wide enough for the Demelier bags. I really don't know what to do about that, and I couldn't get any wider um, because we then have the radiator in the way. So, a little bit tricky. I do feel like I have so much respect for interior stylists who just get it right on like the first time because there's so much more practicality that goes into home styling than I ever kind of like gave credit for before moving into this house. I feel like our flat was a little bit easier because obviously there was literally three rooms to start. There's a bathroom, a bedroom, an office, and like a kitchen living room. And even then, there wasn't really a huge amount to style up because it was just very boxy. Whereas moving into a little bit more of like a period property, an older house, our house is about 100 years old now, which is pretty common in the UK. Like it's not anything special. But anyone that lives in an older house will know that none of the rooms are straight. Radiators are not put in places that you would ever imagine. Like even this wardrobe behind us, honestly, to get it in, they literally had to cut the windowsill, which is so funny. Like, if you look down there, the skirting board has been cut. Like, that is what you get in an older house. Um, but yeah, this is my boot storage, and I've got all of my favorite boots, which are literally all duo boots. I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to pull these out again. They are just such a gorgeous, like, tan pair. You can see how much I've loved them by how much I've worn them, and all of my boots do have, um, like boot shapers in them. This was a new pair that I got last year that I've not got in the wear out. It's another gorgeous like brown pair that's like a darker brown. Um, these two are really old, but I love them so much. They really actually wear well, which is what I really, really love about Geo Boots. Obviously you can see the leather has been um, worn, but as long as you put in it, like a boot shaper i literally get mine off amazon i'll leave them linked down below as long as you get a boot shaper they are absolutely fine um so yeah i love this for all of my boot storage for such a long time i did not know what to do with boots and i finally found the perfect solution it just means i can't get any more because the shelves are full um but yeah i love these oh this pointed toe one can't wait to wear this for christmas for like christmas parties that is just such a vibe and then this one's such a nice like easy one just for like meetings and office wear and things like that so um yeah love that but we need to tackle in here the big old wardrobes um i need to do a little bit of a sort out i need to get rid of like my linen shirts things that are really really summery um and just give this room a bit of a new lease of life i feel like i need to just do a big old overhaul say goodbye to this print get the new prints up organize some more bits in here i can't really get rid of the box because that's going to be the next haul that we're going to do but just get this room a little bit more organized and a little bit more ready for the new season to you i forgot just how all consuming wardrobe switchover days are i am the kind of person that i need to stay in the zone if i stop even for a minute i know i'm not going to get it done because i'm going to get distracted and then i'm going to kind of like get out of the mood so it's currently almost three o'clock and i've not had any lunch yet but we are finished the dresses have been put away, the summery clothes have been put away, all of my chunky knits, my coats and my winter wardrobe have come out and I am so, so excited about so many of the pieces that I've pulled out. It's one of the things I do love about doing a wardrobe switchover. I know some people, even if they have the storage, still choose to put away non-seasonal pieces because I feel like it's so nice to come out of a season and get excited about your own wardrobe again and not feel like it always has to be like new in items um, and like see the pieces that you put away that you'd like, you know, very carefully like washed and ironed and like put away in storage. Um, so all of my summer bits have gone away and all of my autumn winter bits are they've come out to play. They have come out to play. That is the cheesiest thing I've ever said, but I really do feel like they have. But I'm going to make myself some lunch quickly because I am 
starving, absolutely starving. And then I can show you the progress upstairs, but for now, your girl needs to be fed. <laughs> okay, lunch has been had. I did that typical thing where you got really hungry and over ate, so we have a real food baby going on that right now. But this wardrobe, I cannot get over how empty it is. I do forget just how many summery pieces I have, but look at that gap. Look at that gap. I've just noticed one of them is not on the right. Hang on, I thought I'd caught them all, but there's a couple that we need to change over. Um, but I have deliberately left out a couple of more like summery pieces or at least like floral pieces, because I know I speak about this a lot, but I am the kind of girl that is not afraid to wear florals in autumn. I feel like florals in autumn, they just work. And I do absolutely love them, and especially pieces like this or like this. They're very easy, not that that one they're very easy to put um thermals on underneath because if you are wearing long sleeve no one's going to see a vest underneath it so i absolutely love it for that um but i think what i'm going to do is put coats on one side which is what i usually do with this wardrobe when it comes to winter because i just don't have as many long line pieces like jumper dresses and things like that they don't take up as much room as my summer wardrobe does which um speaking of coats oh my gosh i've gotten out a few from stores that i'm so so excited about again par exemple my little ivy and oak coat oh my gosh it's looking a little bit crushed up so i do need to give this a steam i would definitely recommend steaming things when you bring them out of storage because not only do they come out creased but it's also a good way to make sure that they are just completely like um What's the word? I don't, not anti-backed, but it is like a um, virus killer and things like that. So the jumper dresses that I've just brought out, which are seriously looking creased up. I'm going to give a steam this evening. Um, I quite like to just do a steam and like have some YouTube on in the background. It's a great way just to steam, pass the time, watch a vlog. Um, I feel like that's what I do most of the time. And I always anticipate that you guys are doing the same. I normally put vlogs on as like a background thing when I'm like doing something. And I always assume that you guys do the same, but let me know. Are you the kind of person that like sits down, puts it on the telly, like you like to watch a vlog in full? Or are you like me where it's kind of just background noise and you're usually like doing something, you may be doing chores. Let me know. I'd be very, very interested. Um, but really excited to have this out. This was one of my favourite coats from last year. This gorgeous like chocolate brown colour. So, so excited to wear that. And then another one, which I was literally looking for the other weekend because I couldn't remember if I'd put it away in storage. But this is such a perfect transitional piece. This autumnal gilet um, body warmer type thing. It's from Karen Millen. And I absolutely love it. It's like such a gorgeous like tweed, um, really dark, like greeny brown colour. Oh, it's just my favourite favorite um so it's really nice to get out a few old favorites that i'm really really excited to wear again like jumper dresses but also i want to make sure i'm still utilizing my kind of like end of summer wardrobe and i speak about transitional styling a lot but this is like the epi epitome of a transitional wardrobe we've said goodbye to the summer wardrobe now it's time for transitional styling. And I'm very happy about the progress of this room as well. I've managed to find space to put the basket bag up there. So at least that one's out the way. I'm just going to leave the Domelier bag for here until I find maybe like a better storage solution. Um, but we have got a lot of old favourites in the wardrobe now that I'm so, so excited to style like this cable knit jumper. I just absolutely adore this. This is from H&M and it's probably about five or six years old. But every single year I bring it out. I've got some gorgeous little new look jumpers that are very like festive this stunning river island one oh it's just making me so excited to wear all of the chunky cozy knits and i've really tried to like organize this as best as possible so we've got like shirts here t-shirts and kind of like jersey materials um stripe jumpers thick jumpers cable knit jumpers then cashmere jumpers i think got blazers tweed jackets i always love these tweed jackets um and these are the plastic hangers that i like to use for these because they're just so much more versatile for like coats and jackets i don't know where i got these from i think they're lakelands um but yeah love those for that i think got a few other blazers my capes and then my silk skirts and i just think it looks so much more organized and it's making me so, so excited for autumn. So the only job left to do in here is change over the prints. I might need Alex's help for that though, um, just because it's always really difficult seeing if they're like straight and like, you know, kind of lined up when you're by yourself. So I think I'm gonna get Alex's help to change the prints over and then that is us switched over. The wardrobe switch over done and dusted in one day. I'm actually so proud of myself for doing it in one day because often it can take days at a time, but I have really blitzed this 
throw my all into it and I've also been quite savage with things that I'm not keeping um particularly for like things next summer that I think I'm maybe not going to wear next summer and some autumnal pieces that I kept from last year that I just don't really think suit my style anymore so these are all the pieces that I'm so excited to bring out into my wardrobe so excited to wear for the new season and I'm really getting me in the autumn mood well good morning everyone my goodness me did I crash after that clear out i feel like that was one of the most intense autumn wardrobe switchovers i've ever done i was really brutal with myself i had to do like a lot of thinking about what i'm going to be keeping what i'm going to be bringing into my wardrobe next year in terms of like summer pieces and also what i wanted to bring into my autumn winter wardrobe this year i feel like i was brutal in that clear out but it did mean that i completely crashed afterwards and just needed like an evening on the sofa just not speaking to anyone not doing anything not looking at any screens or anything just being but i am feeling so refreshed now and so happy with myself with the clear out i feel like i needed this new lease of life i needed this like reinvigoration in my wardrobe and doing the clear out as well i feel like it's really really helped me take stock of what i have in my wardrobe already what i want to be adding into my wardrobe and maybe a few things that i am missing so i placed a little just a really little knitwear order because one thing that i definitely realized was kind of missing from my wardrobe and i feel like particularly works so so well with my style it's like cardigans and as someone that loves wearing dresses i love a cardigan they're so so handy to be able to like chuck on and off especially if you're like around the house a lot if you work from home if you're like me you maybe do a lot of like movement in your day to day you can sometimes get a bit hot and cold like whenever i sit down on my laptop that's it i'm freezing i need slippers i need a cardigan i need layers as soon as i kind of like get up and get walking and get like moving again i get really really hot so it's so nice to have those layers that you can like strip on and strip off so i have a couple of new knitwear pieces that i wanted to show you now the initial reason why i place this order is because i'm not gonna lie to you i am gutted absolutely gutted because there is one item that has not come out of storage after doing my autumn wardrobe switchover and i lived in it last year so i don't know where it's gone initially i thought oh maybe i didn't put it away in storage but i have looked in every single cupboard we have every single wardrobe we have and i have lost it and I'm so, so sad. I must have like left it at a friend's house somewhere or something. So I might message pretty much everyone I know and see if they have this. Because this is something that I lived and died in last autumn, winter. And I'm really excited that River Island have actually brought these back. Because I got so many compliments when I wore it last year. So the fact that I can get the new season version. And I've also picked it up in two different colorways. But it is the coat again now i know that is such a cringe word to say but i feel like it's the only way to describe this coat slash cardigan it's this really beautiful super long line super chunky super oversized cardigan and it's like in a kind of coat style it's really really difficult to describe but it's a complete like cardigan material it's so soft it's like a jersey fabric it is the softest cardigan i've ever ever owned and it is so so warm so this is the perfect thing that i feel like is the epitome of a house coat and again another really cringe saying that i know a lot of people say but it's just so perfect for chucking on if you're like me and you love jumper dresses or even just like floaty dresses for now and you want something you can layer up over the top this is perfect and i love the colorway of this is like a really really gorgeous kind of camel color with these stripes the one that i had last year was a bit more like geometric but i actually love the stripe version because i feel like it's a little bit more versatile i feel like it looks a little bit more expensive it's very like totem inspired which i really really like and considering that i wore my other one last year so so much i know i'm gonna get the cost per wear out of this so i know it's a great investment guess what i have just brought out of storage to style up with these cardies the ugg boots are back the ugg boots are back i would say if you are looking to get a pair now is like the perfect time because there's still a lot of sizes available a lot of colors it's still kind of like early on in the season i'm definitely gonna get too hot standing here with full-on ugg boots a jumper dress and a long line card because it's actually not that cold at the moment i feel like we're having quite a mild october so far um but love how this looks with this outfit i feel like the cardigan the jumper dress and the ugg boots are just giving like full 
cozy vibes and that is exactly what we are going for but look at how stunning this cardi is one thing i would say with these cardigans is definitely size down i always get a small in these they actually feel a little bit less oversized than the one i had last year so if you wanted to you could probably go true to size if you wanted it a little bit more like oversized and a little bit looser but i quite like them to be a little bit more like fitted i don't want them to like overwhelm me if you know what i mean um but i just love the fact that it's like this full length and the stripes are gorgeous i almost wish they came with a belt because i feel like this would look really cute as a belt but maybe that would make it a little bit too like dressing gowny um but i definitely think you could add your own like a leather belt would make sure that it's not too dressing gowny still really cozy and yet super super chic um but just over the top of like jumper dresses as i said like flowy dresses these go with absolutely everything and i can wear it as a cardigan around the house but also as more of like a coat to leave the house in so really really love these and then the other one I picked up, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not even sure if I like this one more because it is so beautiful. It's this really gorgeous, like monochromatic geometric print. I mean, look at that. This to me is the epitome of like rich mom vibes. I love it. It's this kind of thing I just love to wear when I'm a mom dropping the kids off for the school run. You can just chuck it over whatever you're wearing and it like completely hides your outfit. It's one of those great items that you can literally be wearing. Leggings, trainers, and a gym top. Put this over the top and you look like pulled together you look elevated which i really really loved about this and i love the fact that this one's a little bit more cool tone so i feel like they kind of cover both bases in my wardrobe if i'm wanting something a little bit cooler in tone more monochromatic if i want to wear like grays and blacks and whites this one if i'm wanting something a little bit warmer i want to incorporate those caramel tones those camel colors the beige one is perfect so really excited to have added these two into my wardrobe i am praying i'm going to be able to find my old one because I just absolutely adore these for the colder season. Sometimes when I get things like in the same kind of like design and different colorways, it can be a bit pointless because they look really similar. Whereas these two cardigans, I feel like just give such a different vibe. Like they are totally worth picking up the two different colorways in. And I just love this like geometric pattern. I do feel like this is one that you probably couldn't do up because this to me looks a little bit like you're the art teacher at school. Whereas this is like giving lovely, chic, rich mom vibes and just like really, easy styling so i really really like that but as i said love the fact that it's like cooler in tone so i can style it up with a few different um colorways and like um tones in my wardrobe so absolutely love that i feel like the fit of them is just perfect really really glad that i went for a small because i just love the fact that they're a little bit more streamlined they're less like boxy and oversized they're just a bit more like fitted and feminine so absolutely love these you can expect you can expect to see them a lot throughout the coming months. I feel like I'm gonna get so much wear out of these two. And then the last thing I picked up, I feel like it's just such an autumn winter classic. You know how much I adore my Breton stripes, but I don't really have like a cardigan like this, just like a really thick, cozy, chunky cardi that again, I can just chuck over the top of dresses, I can chuck over the top of outfits. And what I love about these is I can feel like I can just leave them lying around the house and like, it doesn't really matter what I'm wearing, I can just chuck it over the top of ever I'm getting cold. And I really liked that this one had these gorgeous little buttons. Like, look at these. They are so, so pretty. So it really elevates the cardi a little bit more. Now, it's a real loose weave, but it does mean it's like a chunky knit, but it does have that, like, breathability, which is what I really, really liked about this. So wasn't anticipating on picking this up, but I do think this is going to be another gorgeous piece to have in my autumn winter wardrobe it's just going to be so perfect for layering styling up and all of the coziness throughout oh autumn. my gosh i love this one i feel like this is just like the perfect cropped length it's really nice to have a few different lengths and styles in your wardrobe so that it goes with everything but i love it with the jumper dress i feel like it really really works actually done up um obviously you can wear it undone as well but i just really love the buttons of it i feel like the buttons make it so much more like interesting and a little bit less of like a cozy at home cardigan and I feel like it's something that you can wear at home or out and about um but also I love this just kind of like undone a little bit looser a little bit more cash just chucking it over for something a little bit more like granny chic but in the best way possible I think this is such a gorgeous one I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this throughout cozy season so the last update I have to show you is that the prints are officially on the wall, please excuse Alex's jeans in the corner there. They've just been drying on the rack. I'm not gonna lie, I can be so lazy with the rack sometimes if I don't need to like fully get it out. I'll just like leave it like that and let the jeans dry um, like that. But it's really handy having it in this room actually. I know I didn't really address it before, um, but it just means that when it comes to drying clothes and stuff, I can bring it out and then obviously just put the clothes straight away once we're finished. Um, so one of those things that's like super, 
not aesthetic but super practical so kind of needed um but yes the prints are up what do we think i feel like it really lightens this room weirdly this is quite a dark room and i feel like it's not coming up on camera because we do have the um brightness corrector on here um but it's actually a very very dark room mainly because we have the blinds that are always drawn because obviously all we really do is change in here so we want to make sure that we've got the privacy um and it's quite like a walkway of a room, like it's very narrow. And I feel like the brightness of these prints has really lightened this room and brightened it. Um, so Alex helped me put those up last night and I just think they look amazing. So the mountain print is gonna go downstairs in his office and I feel like it will just work in there a bit better because it's the one room that's like really masculine and we really embrace that masculinity in that room. So really, really love that. And I think that's gonna work super well downstairs with like the navy blue, like the darkness of Alex's office. Um, whereas this this, I feel like it's just a little bit more like dressing room attire, a little bit brighter and lighter. And I just love the fact that they're canvas. So we don't have that like reflection. We don't have that annoying light. I just think they work perfectly. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, and then the rest of the room, this box is going to be going soon because I am filming this haul today. So you will see that in my next video. Um, and then the rest of it is just looking so much tidier and so much more organized. So I'm really, really happy. I feel like the switchover is complete. The autumn wardrobe switchover is done, ready for the new season. As I said, I feel like we've had quite a mild start to autumn, quite a mild start to October. I feel like normally this time of year I'm in full coats, whereas I've barely been bringing them out yet. So I'm kind of excited for the temperatures to start dipping a little bit more and for me to really like fully embrace and get the wear out of my autumn winter wardrobe. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to leave it here because I have taken your advice from my last vlog. I just want to thank you all for the feedback because you have no idea how much it helps. Like sometimes it's really tricky doing this job because sometimes the stats and what you're actually saying don't always line up and a lot of the feedback that was given in the last video is that number one the main reason you've not been able to keep up with vlogs recently is just because of the length which is really funny because i'm someone that like much prefers a longer vlog but if you guys prefer a shorter vlog i will try and keep my talking to a minimum and try and keep them to more of like the 30 minute length i think that's kind of like the best length to keep them to um and also a lot of you guys have been saying that like you kind of aren't as fussed about hauls which is funny because stat wise the hauls what perform the best so if you prefer my more like vloggy style videos i'd love it if you engaged with them commented on them liked them shared them it would just really really help me out to know that that's the kind of thing you like to see so any feedback i really really appreciate i will always take it on board so thank you so much to those of you who have been giving i've just been staring at myself and realizing that because of this cut i feel like i look like two different people with the, <laughs> with the line in this wardrobe that is so so funny um but yes Thank you very much for your feedback in the last video and I really hope that Wednesdays and Sundays moving forward are going to be just the perfect upload schedule. So if you got to the end of this video, which will probably be the last one that's going to be quite a long one, I would try and minimise the length of them going forward and um, leave me the word autumn down below in your comments so I know you got to the end of this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I will see you on Sunday. Love you guys so much.